before I get into this one, it'd be really helpful if you guys liked the video. And if you guys are new, please subscribe and make sure you turn on post notifications. And for those of you guys who commented in the last video, some of your comments are here. Some of them aren't, obviously, because there's a lot of comments that get put up. But I've been gaining a lot of subscribers lately, and I just want every single one of you guys to know I appreciate all of you guys subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all the support you guys show on all of my new videos. It's really motivating, especially right now at a point where nobody's really watching 2K. And once 2K18 comes out, you guys already know I'm going to have the park videos on deck. Hopefully, I get to play park with a lot of you guys. So if you guys haven't, please make sure you guys add my PSN and my Xbox. I'm not sure which one I'm going to be on the most yet. But make sure you guys add both of those. I'm going to be on the park. I'm going to be posting park videos. So if you guys like park videos, make sure you guys subscribe for that. But uh, yeah, I guess it's time to get into the actual video now. For those of you who are a fan of basketball and have been fans for a long time, you guys have seen the evolution of villains throughout the whole entire NBA. Of course, in my time, it started off with Kobe being the villain. I started watching basketball around 2006, and Kobe was known as like the most hated dude in the league at that point, at least for me. And it wasn't because of him leaving teams or anything like that. It was because of his mentality of just killing every single opponent he had on the court and obviously for some people who actually were fans of Shaq for the whole Shaq situation. Now with me being a Heat fan, Kobe has hit countless game winners on top of our heads. So that gave me enough reason in myself for me not to like him. But then after Kobe, it became LeBron. And that was from LeBron coming to the Miami Heat. So obviously I didn't hate him. But the reason why I bring this up is because it's fun to be the villain. Being a fan of the team that everybody hated and that everybody wanted to beat, having the player that everybody hated was just great to me. It made it, it made every time that we beat a team just so much better. So that makes me wonder, why is that not available in my career? Now obviously not everybody is going to leave their team in my career, but there should be different ways for you to get a badge like that. Now I've listed all of my favorite villains, Kevin Durant, LeBron, Kobe. Kevin Garnett and Draymond Green. Now each and every one of them has one thing that they do that makes them either villains or made people dislike them before. Now my favorite case scenario is Draymond for this reason. Chasing that farewell tour, they don't allow you like that. Now obviously I know a lot of you guys hate Draymond, but I just his trash talking is so funny to me. Now that's not the only reason why I like Draymond obviously. The dude's a beast on defense and he absolutely kills teams after he does blocks, dunks on them, whatever the case is. All of that stuff right there is, is stuff that I feel like should be in 2K. Now I don't mean the blocks and the dunks or even the celebrations because those are in 2K. What I mean by that is, is what he does to the team. Draining their energy, putting all the momentum in the warrior side. I would definitely say there's momentum in 2K, but there should be a huge difference from when you get a block and send it out of bounds and the crowd is on your side, everybody's going crazy, or if you're away and the crowd starts booing you from talking trash and it just fires up your whole entire team. That is not a part of 2K. The crowd should definitely get more involved and this is a badge that can do that. Now we all know why Kevin Durant is hated. Do I agree with it? No, but I definitely feel like it should be in 2K because it is realistic. I mean, if I was an OKC fan, I'd probably be mad too. So when I come back to OKC as, as a my career player, I should get booed. If you guys are done with my career, try this out right now. Request a trade and don't include Justice Young in the trade and then play against Justice Young. There's absolutely nothing that happens. Your best friend and you abandon him Ask for a trade to leave him there, and he absolutely does not care. That's kind of weird. I don't know if that's just me that thinks that, but that's a little weird. That's that's Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook type status. If I if I had to judge, I would think that that's what it, what it should be like. But now that we got into how to unlock it, we should definitely be able to torch anybody who made us unlock it. Now, Kevin Durant absolutely goes ham every single time they play against the OKC. Draymond Green goes ham every time that the crowd is going against him, chanting Draymond sucks, whatever the case is, going crazy. LeBron killed Cleveland when he came back and they booed him. 
Kobe is the king at trolling fans. Kobe would absolutely annihilate defenders just because their fans were talking trash. I mean, think about it. D-Wade frying the purple shirt mans and his team at that. Now, obviously, a lot of you guys want badges that work on the park. I think this should work on the park, too. If you're triggering celebrations every single time you score, that definitely should have to trigger somebody who has the badge to go crazy on you. Every time you score, you're mocking this man, but nothing's happening. You know, obviously, when you see them do it or when they dance in front of you on the park, you see them do it, and you think to yourself, all right, bet, I'm going to go crazy on them. But 2K has nothing to activate anything to make you play better. I think that should be a thing. Now, in Pro-Am, that should be a thing, too. I mean, obviously, the crowd can do oohs and ahs or whatever the case is. But maybe it's just me that thinks this, but I feel like the crowd should set up a whole different environment in different situations. In the fourth quarter, the crowd should be louder. When you are absolutely draining shots on your team every single time that the crowd tries to get into it and they hush, you know, kind of how they do it in NBA games, that's crazy. That'd be crazy to be able to do. You know, like the crowd is chanting defense and then you hit a three and everybody just goes quiet. It's abs That'd be absolutely crazy to add to the game. Same goes for my career, except I feel like you can add more. Just because it's my career, it's offline, you can do whatever you want. There's playoffs and whatnot. Playoff atmosphere needs to be more lit needs to be more lit if you're in the playoffs and you're in game seven of the finals versus your rival team it has to be more lit every game just feels the exact same whether i'm playing the first game of the season or game seven versus the Cavs, and i'm on the warriors exact same let me know what you guys think i'll be reading the comments i know some of you guys think that i'm going way too above and beyond with these ideas but this is a simple one real simple i kept it nice smooth and easy and I feel like it would definitely help out the game. But uh, I'm sure some people will disagree with me. But I'll be reading the comments. God bless America. You know we all love them. Yesterday I got a call like from my dog like 101. Said they killed his only son because of insufficient funds. He was sobbing. He was mobbing. Way belligerent and drunk. Talking out and saying philosophy on what the Lord had done. 